above it if I can. That was the best reaction I have filmed ever. Wow. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh, that was hilarious. Okay, I'm gonna shut that door. <laughs> Hey guys, and today I have a Star Trek Mac collection video. To start off with, this collection is now available as I tell you guys. It was released a week early in Debenhams exclusively in stores and online and of course I have been waiting for this collection for so long. I've been t telling my friends about it and I think they've about got to the point where they've got fed up of me talking about it. I love Star Trek. I admittedly never used to watch it as much as my best friend or my dad did and I think when the movie started coming out I then started watching more of the TV series. I loved the TV series like before but I didn't watch it constantly, like I just watched it when I could. I've pretty much watched all of them now I think. We have them all on DVD so if I haven't watched them then I'll know because I can rewatch them. The thing is I'm trying to get to is that I absolutely love the show, love the movies and when Mac announced that they were going to be releasing a range um, in collab or inspired by uh, four women from Star Trek, I was over the freaking moon. Don't condone what Mac or any of the makeup brands that test on animals do. I don't like it, I really don't, so I try not to buy too many products from... I say this and I've like got so many. But I don't condone it, I'm not happy with the way makeup is tested on animals. I do love, really love other brands which are 10 times better than MAC and they don't test on animals. So there are definitely a variety of brands and it's up to you personally how you view it. Like how you view the whole thing. I mean, I will only purchase MAC when I need to or when I am in love with a collection such as this one. Now let's get on to what I bought from the collection. I have two MAC makeup bags. I ordered some things online and then I bought two things in store which is why I have two MAC bags. I don't know what to start off with. Honestly, I was only determined to buy or to purchase three items from the collection. But as it got nearer to the time when the range was to be released, I started seeing YouTube videos where people were swatching the new products because there was they did a, a launch at Comic Con for Star Trek's Max collaboration and they were selling the products there. So so many people around the world had already bought Max Star Trek's collection and they were swatching it. They were doing makeup tutorials with it, and I was absolutely loving most of the products. This range by far is one of my favourites this whole year. So I went a little bit overboard because I didn't just purchase three. I think I purchased, how many did I buy? Nine products in total except for one of them still hasn't arrived because I ended up having to order it from America. Okay so firstly I am going to, I will tell you the um, original prices. I did get quite a few discounts so bear with me. First thing I'm going to start off with this cute little baby. This is a nail polish. The packaging on these is just so sleek. I love it. You have the Star Trek logo and then you have a Mac above it and then inside the logo you have the number 50 and it's the 50th anniversary if you didn't know of Star Trek and the nail polish I got was Holodeck quite funny I think oh my goodness the packaging is insane I mean look at the packaging inside they've gone really cleverly overboard and over detailed it's 
I love it. Holodeck, I have swatched this in the stores and I really liked it. This is one of the things where I wasn't really sure whether to purchase or not because I have bought a few of MAC's nail polishes before and I don't really like their formula. They don't dry that fast and you have to put quite a lot of um, coats on. However, when I swatched this, this was pretty much opaque from the first um, layer and I haven't got it on now but I will definitely put it on soon. I was quite surprised. I was like, okay, let's put another coat on and it was by the second coat it's completely opaque but you can use it with one coat a holodeck uh, shade is basically a bronzy gold it's not like that very um, original gold shade but it is a bronzy gold which is what I kind of what I really like about it I don't have a shade like this in my nail polish collection but you will see how I get on with this. So Holodeck was £11, that's pretty much standard for all of their nail polishes. I think there was two others in the range. One was silver and one was like a yellowy gold with with like black glitter on it as well. But I really liked this one. So. I brought three out of the four eyeshadows. These shades are absolutely stunning. So the first one is a bird of prey. Again, the packaging comes with the um, logo on the front, 50th anniversary, and the logo in silver inside. And then we have the cute eyeshadow. These eyeshadow pots are huge! It's mainly down to the fact that they are pressed pigments, which even, even so, I absolutely love them. Now, your standard eyeshadow from MAC, I think costs around about £15. Because these are pressed pigments, these are £17.50 each. Quite a lot for eyeshadow. But considering the amount you're getting and the quality you're getting, these eyeshadows are honestly stunning. I'm going to do swatches on the back of my hand. This is the first time I'm doing this. I cannot freaking wait. <laughs> there you have Bird of Prey. I'm just going to swatch that. A very deep green with kind of like gold and blue reflex in it. It's a gorgeous shade. I absolutely love it. I'm just going to wipe that back of my hand. There is the green. It's so pretty. I can totally make this work with like a nice smoky eye. Now we're going to have the Naked Time. Again, gorgeous packaging and this one is a a light champagne, I would say like a light champagne gold. It's a muted gold with like champagne shimmer running through it. It is gorgeous. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Beautiful. This is like so, so shit on my hand. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that? Right, just right above the green is the Naked time. Get off. Get off. Right, next. The last eyeshadow I got was To Boldly Go. Now, this is the one I really, really wanted out of the whole range. Oh my gosh, this is stunning. This is my shade. This is my shade. It's completely me all over. It's just basically that gorgeous peachy gold and it has like it actually looks in my light in my in my light that I have right here it's kind of like pinky but on the camera it's coming out the shade it should so that's all right so it's a bronzy gold with reflex of silver in it and it's just beautiful look at this beauty it's beautiful absolutely beautiful right swatch this felt so much softer that is the swatch <gasps> Stunning, I love it. Look at that. Hands down, these are beautiful. Next is the lipsticks. So the first one I'll start off with is the one I was going to get out of my top three. And this one is Where No Man Has Gone Before. Oh my gosh, it's not coming out. Whoop! There we go. Packaging, gorgeous. This one is basically a rose gold but more rosy. These are almost like metallic lipsticks, which I'm so excited about. I'm gonna swatch this for you on my hand. So, it's not really so metallic. This is in a luster finish, but it is kind of like a glossy lipstick. I do feel that this is a very summery shade. However, if you topped it on top of a red 
for like a burgundy red in the fall, you can make that burgundy red look really highlighted and metallic. And the other lipstick is, come out, we want to see you, is LLAP, which stands for Long Live and Prosper, if you know Star Trek that well. It's this gorgeous, like, natural rose gold. You know, what a rose gold should look like and should, um, reflect like I guess. It is a beautiful shade. Rose gold iPhones, they are not rose gold, they're pink, right? No? They're pink to me and they need to be more gold in my opinion to be a rose gold. This is a frost finish so there's definitely a lot more glitter in this which gives you that highlight and um, you can actually use this as a face highlight on your cheeks, on your forehead nose you know wherever you want to highlight as well as a lipstick they are very versatile in the way you can use them and that's what I really love about this shade in particular the lipsticks are 17 pounds each now let's move on to the good stuff face powders I have two but I still have one on the way as I said from America and the two I have is Luna Luster and Highly Illogical. These powders are called Trip the Light Fantastic Powders. This one's in Luna Luster, one of my top three, and I still have Strange New Worlds to arrive, so I might put that in another video. But this is absolutely gorgeous. It is the perfect highlight, especially for summer. Seriously, guys, it's like my dream powder powder form like uh, the colours in this is insane I just love the marble effect of this it reminds me of like space I guess that I guess what well, it is Star Trek inspired I'm not trying to catch the light I hope you can see that because it is so pretty I don't want to swatch this but I'm gonna have to because <laughs> I want to see how pretty it is um, let's go in the middle I'm not gonna see this on my hand at all it's so sheer it's really like a natural highlight. It reminds me of um, Lights Cabade. MAC now has permanent. They got rid of it and then Hayley Williams brought it back and then they've kind of kept it ever since. But it's this beautiful rosy peachy highlight. There's not that much glitter that shows up in this at all, which I think I like that. I think that the glitter is kind of like just on the top and then once you get into the highlight it just becomes more of a natural highlight. It's really not there at all. But and then it's literally just I can't even see it myself. <laughs> it's just there on my hand. You might actually no, you can see that just about just under long long live and prosper. It's this gorgeous peachy pink highlight. Finally, we have highly illogical. Um, I wasn't going to originally get, however, I swatched it in store and I compared it to other bronzers that I own and it was a beautiful fall bronzer. I really think this particular shade can be used on almost any skin tone, more so on the darker skin tones because it will be a perfect highlight, even possibly a blush, uh, but on fairer skin like myself, um, I think this is beautiful for a blush or a bronzy highlight glow, just a bronzer basically. This has brown, plummy, mauvey shades in this. Why do you space, doesn't it not? And hopefully you can see the glitter on this as well. It's just stunning. It's a beautiful mauve bronze. I just really think this is just perfect for the fall. So there you have Where No Man Has Gone Before, Long Live and Prosper, Luna Luster, and Highly Illogical. They are so pretty. The retail price for this is £26.50. So quite pricey, but I'm gonna say they're worth it, but you know, I cannot wait to smother these all over my face this autumn and winter. I don't want to end this video, I really don't, because I am just I just want to rave about these for a while, but I'm gonna to have to. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to our channel and comment below. If you would like to get in touch with us, we have our Twitter page, Instagram page, and Snapchat. Snapchat, I can say it see guys the links will all be in the description box below I will also link where you can get these products from please comment below if you would like to try any of these products or what else in the range you would purchase that I haven't purchased I would love to know your thoughts please get in touch I love reading your comments I love um, talking to you guys and we 
my sister and me really love you guys and we are so thankful for all your support i'm punching my hand like yes kate hammering it down yeah i will see you guys next video bye what makes the light reflect on the nail polish wait that doesn't even make sense and this just hello hi asda nice to meet you hello hello video we're doing a video ending in school it was recording i'll send oh, it on no. so i got the whole thing i got the yeah and i just sat there like you're not going to put that on a video. What's going on? No. <laughs> it was brilliant. No. <laughs> what else did you get? You just got me. Like, yeah. Well, no, I, I was already recording because I was setting it up. And then I sat down. And as soon as I sat down, you're just like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, okay. It was me and Dad. Yeah, it? it was both of you. That was so funny. Love it. Bye. I love these shades.